I know you had some questions about the shrouds and the shroud extension. I'll help you out on this too. First off, I take my shroud. I got the Apollos. I don't know what you have, but the Apollos are really easy because they have this flat spot, which goes straight back instead of like an angled, uh, uh, angled piece. So anyways, I put the shroud on there initially. And if it's rubbing on the top, or the bottom, I take it off, I take my little Dremel tool, the sanding drum on it, and I sand off a little spot where it's rubbing. And I try it back on there. It's a trial and error thing, you just gotta keep trying it, have patience. Once you get it on there, where it's sitting nice and flush with the projector lens, now you can start working on your shroud extension. Put the shroud on there, and then what I do, I have a caliper with uh, the protruding end, I don't know what it's called, the technical name, but it allows you to measure depth. So I put the shroud on there, or hold it on there, and I measure the depth to the OEM housing. And then I take that depth and I mark it out on a piece of steel, or in your case, aluminum. I would try it on steel, just so you don't waste your money on cutting up a lot of aluminum because it ain't cheap. Do it on a piece of sheet metal first, cut it out, try it, and then um, then you can cut it out of aluminum. So I do this depth thing all the way around, probably about eight points in the in the shroud. So then I get a good reference on where I, my cuts need to be and then I kind of make a wave pattern of the cuts, you know. I cut it out in steel, I tried it, I got it to fit, you might have to do some fine tuning, get some good sheet metal sheet metal uh, um, tin snips, because they'll make it easier. Cut it out, make sure it fits nice. The other one might be different, the other side, so you might have to trim that one more, but it should be about the same, so you can save that template, is what I did. So cut it out in the aluminum, I use sheet aluminum, just get it at the hardware store. And then I, I cut it out, I take some chrome polish, and I polish it as high as mirror finish as I can get it. Then I roll it on a paint can, just a little one pint paint can. And then I stick it into the shroud itself. And it sits in there just nice and snug, because the, the shroud extension is just large, slightly larger than the shroud itself. So now you got a perfectly covered up projector with your aluminum shroud extension. After that, everything is good. I take uh, JB Quick Weld and I dab in about eight spots on the inside of this lip on the shroud just so that shroud extension doesn't fall off ever from bumps or whatever right in your truck. So I would weld it there and then I put it back on the projector with the centric ring and I JB weld that on too because you never know what can happen and you don't want to be taking your headlights apart again if you don't have to and that's pretty much it uh, if you have any questions just uh, email me thanks